After Atlanta bracing for flash flooding, city crews have been out at high risk areas all throughout Atlanta for the last two days now. Atlanta News First reporter Patrick Quinn live now from Southwest Atlanta. Uh, Patrick, tell us more about how the city's preparing. And from talking with road officials today, Joy, a lot of them are saying it's not a matter of if Atlanta experiences major flash flooding, it's a matter of when and where. So they're really highlighting their preparation efforts, areas that in the past have experienced flooding, like here, Southwest Atlanta by Clark Atlanta University, we're seeing signs like this area subject to flooding. We have seen crews out in these areas, not just yesterday, today as well. They're coming in clearing storm drains, just like this one, some of this debris. Obviously they're clearing this out of the way, but in a much more formal way, not just with their hands. Uh, but also in these areas, we're seeing barricades like this to try and prevent cars from parking in this area. If you remember a year ago in September 2023, this area right around Clark Atlanta University, it was flooded. I mean, the water up to like right here, cars, they were sinking. Um, and so now we're seeing all of these measures being taken to help avoid some of that. Now, earlier today, we drove throughout Atlanta just to get a sense of what things looked like and crews. They, they really were focusing on areas around creeks. Uh, that's where they really see a potential for flash flooding in northwest Atlanta. We saw that certainly around Peachtree Creek. And so a lot of roads there, DOT crews, Department of Transportation crews, they were out earlier this morning. Uh, so it's been an all hands on deck approach starting yesterday into today. Uh, they know that really the worst is still to come. Their message to drivers tonight uh, is if you don't have to be on the road, do not be on the road for a number of reasons. One, for your safety, but also two, because uh, it could impede their efforts of continuing to clear debris, to address any emergency issues that come up. So the worst really, yes, is to come, but we have watched Atlanta crews over the last two days really try and do as much preventative efforts as they can, but even they're recognizing with just so much rain in the forecast and with how hilly that Atlanta is, if you sit in one of those bowls, it's really just gonna be tough for you to avoid a lot of this potential for flash flooding. Joy. Thank you so much. Uh, Patrick Quinn reporting live there. Now